commissary. They took out that big thing over here. What I never see water. It's a big monstrous. Huh? Where's the Christmas tree? It must be right here. I'm trying to put it up here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sears. The tower stands a lucky 13 stories tall. Each year weighs over 5,000 pounds and is 28 and a half the diameter. Translates into a hat size of 342 and 3 eighths. I know this because every holiday season we top that tower off with a big red stocking cap. Now folks, by a show of hands, how many people are planning on seeing Fantasmic tonight? Great, you need to keep in mind there are two shows. These houses here are called facades or false fronts. There are no insides or backs to any of them. And because different scripts call for different neighborhoods, all eight houses on this street were designed to reflect different styles of American architecture. Second house on your right hand side, the western style number 242, was used for the exterior shots only when Jim Barney was filming Ernest Saves Christmas. Now speaking of Christmas folks, take a good look around you and you'll see that we've been quite busy here on Residential Street. Actually tonight starts the uh, opening of our annual Osborne Spectacle of Light. There are over 5 million Christmas lights this year. Around 6.15 we'll close the street, open it back up for everybody to walk back down and see all the Christmas lights after we turn them on. But back over to your left hand side is our most famous home, which you may recognize. That beige lion style house was the home to the award winning Golden Girls with Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia. All the exterior shots were filmed right here, then edited together with all the interior shots filmed on the sound stage out in California. Also on your left hand side, the light blue facade was the home to Alice from the Disney Channel's Adventures in Wonderland. And directly across the street, the two-story beige facade was the home to Dr. Harry Weston from Empty Nest, and that's our Richard Mulligan Dynamant on Man Bear the Dog as Drivers. Now folks, when production crews travel to cities and towns to film on location, they have to deal with things that they have little or no control over, such as crowds. Right now up ahead of us is that large standing set that I was telling you about. They did say it was going to be off limits today, but it does appear that Matt has gotten his clearance to go inside. Our production crew is probably either. This is where we present The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is a fantastic live show based on a 34th animated feature. Please check your guide maps for the posted show times. You want to get there at least a half an hour early because it does tend to fill up very quickly. It is a very good show. It's a place that we call Forced Perspective. The skyscrapers you see there are actually painted flats positioned at the end of the street. Uh -huh. Now folks, that does bring us to the end of our tour, and here you will find the American Film Institute Showcase. Our current exhibit is called Creatures of Distinction, and it offers you a behind-the-scenes look at how puppets, models, and miniatures help create movie magic. I encourage you to take a few moments to enjoy these treasures from such films as Star Wars, The Dark Crystal, Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas.
Yeah, right. Straight. Straight there. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh, I think we're going to... Anyway. Right. I'm so glad we have our sweatshirts on. It's just a little chilly. It's what, maybe 62? We're not sure.
go anywhere near yeah, this spot. I was just trying to walk up the sidewalk. I'm like, oh, you know, though. Excuse me. This is a good spot.
Jasmine? And that's what you 